Chapter 2801, The Sect Leader of the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect, Shai Kong Yu. Du An Ling Tan did not like owing others favors if it was possible. Favors were the most difficult debts to repay in the world. If he accepted the Duke grade celestial weapons from Situ Ming, Yang Chong, and Yu Zong Jing, he would feel like he owed them a favor. Even if Situ Ming and the two others did not have thought about him repaying the favor, he still would not accept the Duke grade celestial weapons. On the contrary, he had no qualms about accepting the Duke grade celestial weapons given by the Tai Yi celestial sect. After all, the Tai Yi celestial sect was giving him the Duke grade celestial weapons so he had a better survival chance and could help the sect to look for treasures in the little world. It was a clear transaction, not a debt of favor. There's still one month left before we entered the little world. I'll stop refining pills and focus on cultivating starting from now. I only hope that I'll be able to further improve my cultivation base during this time. Although Du An Ling Tan was focused on alchemy and refining pills recently, he did not forget about his cultivation. Currently, he was only half a step away from becoming an earth rank great overarching golden celestial. Over the next month, he hoped to break through the bottleneck and become an earth rank great overarching golden celestial before entering the little world. I have an endless supply of great overarching pills to aid my cultivation. Moreover, the prominent celestial islands in the Tai Yi celestial sect have a great cultivation environment. There's no doubt the other great overarching golden celestials would find my cultivation speed shocking. Du An Ling Tan thought to himself as he made his way back to his residence after bidding farewell to Si Du Ming, Yang Chong, and Yu Zong Jing. Moreover, I have 99 heavenly veins that boost my cultivation speed as well. If I can successfully break through and become an earth rank great overarching golden celestial in one month, with my celestial methods and divine abilities, my strength should be comparable to a yellow rank overarching heavenly supreme celestial, right? If that's the case, then I'll be able to protect myself in the little world without Huana's help. Du An Ling Tan grew excited when he thought about this. He could not wait to break through and become an earth rank great overarching golden celestial. After returning to his residence, Du An Ling Tan went into closed door cultivation, focused on breaking through and becoming an earth rank great overarching golden celestial. Dot. Time passed by quietly as Du An Ling Tan cultivated. During this time, the people from the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect and the Thousand Spiders Celestial Sect who came to Tai Yi City for the Wasteland Grand Contest left Tai Yi City along with their newly recruited participants and returned to their respective sect. Dot. A month passed by in just a blink of an eye, and the date agreed upon by the three major Celestial Sect of the Wasteland to send their people into the Little World finally arrived. The little world left behind by a celestial king was located in the center of the wasteland and the three major celestial sects. The estates of the three major celestial sects of the wasteland surrounded it in a triangle formation. At this time, a large group of people left the Tai Yi celestial sect's estate. The group was led by Bai Ping, the sect leader of the Tai Yi celestial sect. Tai Tai He, the former left guardian of the Tai Yi celestial sect was part of the group as well. Half a month ago, he was promoted and became a supreme elder of the Tai Yi Celestial Sect. This meant there were now two supreme elders in the Tai Yi Celestial Sect. Du An Ling Tan was, naturally, among the group of people from the Tai Yi Celestial Sect. As usual, he was dressed in a purple robe. A flawlessly beautiful woman walked next to Du An Ling Tan as they left the Tai Yi Celestial Sect. She stuck close to him causing them to look like a couple. The woman was none other than Huana who had just come out of closed door cultivation a few days ago. The group of people from the Tai Yi celestial sect that consisted of elders and disciples were in awe when they saw Huana. Although they had heard about her beauty and had seen her portraits, they were still shocked when they finally saw her in person. What a beautiful woman. She's the woman in the portrait. However, compared to the painting, 
She's even more beautiful in real life, her bearing and charm are extraordinary. No wonder Elder Huang Zhao lost his life because of her. She's so devastatingly beautiful that she's definitely able to cause the downfall of a nation. Any man would fall for her. Many of the young powerhouses were in a daze for a long time when they saw Huana. It took them a long time before they regained their senses. Meanwhile, Du An Ling Tan who was having a discussion with Huana through voice transmission about her assist type divine ability was unaware of the other's attention on Huana. He was focused on helping her with her difficulties to master the assist type divine ability so that she could quickly improve. Huana, your assist type divine ability. Among Du An Ling Tan's current divine abilities, only his assist type divine ability. The elementary devouring tactic was of the heaven grade, as someone who had completely mastered the heaven grade divine ability, he could be considered as being experienced in this area even if the elementary devouring tactic was far inferior compared to Huana's assist type divine ability. He was still able to help Huana master her assist type divine ability since there was no fixed way for someone to master divine abilities. Huana who did not have a deep understanding of her assist type divine ability listened quietly as Ju An Ling Tan spoke. She would voice out her confusion from time to time. As for the looks she received, she completely ignored them. Her attention was completely focused on Ju An Ling Tan and mastering the assist type divine ability. As the group was carried by Bai Ping and Tai Tai He, the sect leader and supreme elder of the Tai Yi celestial sect, it took them only one day and one night before they arrived at the location of the little world. When they arrived, there were already a group of people waiting there. Before Du An Ling Tan drew close to the group ahead of them, he had already heard the discussion among the elders of the Tai Yi Celestial Sect. That person, he's Chai Kong Yu, the sect leader of the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect, right? Yes, that's Chai Kong Yu. I saw him a year ago. Du An Ling Tan's eyes followed the gazes of the elders of the Tai Yi Celestial Sect and saw a tall and burly middle aged man with a face full of stubbles standing in the lead of the group from the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect. Although he had a slightly sloppy appearance, his robe was spotlessly clean. He had a majestic air about him even though he was just standing idly. This was the kind of bearing one would only obtain after being in a high position for a very long time. It was not something one would be able to obtain overnight. So he's Chai Kong Yu, the sect leader of the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect. Du An Ling Tan thought to himself as he looked at the middle-aged man. At the same time, his attention was distracted by a gaze among the people standing behind Chai Kong Yu. He shifted his eyes and looked at the person who was staring at him, Feng Wu Jig Wang. Du An Ling Tan recognized the person with just a glance. The person was the Violet Sun Golden Celestial younger than 100 years of age whom he had met in the Soaring Dragon Celestial Kingdom. At that time, he had fought Feng Wu Jig Wang and soundly defeated Feng Wu Jig Wang, causing the Long Kin Yan the seventh prince, to fail in his quest to be rewarded. In the end, he had helped Long Fian, the thirteenth prince, to win. Although they had not met in a while, Feng Wu Jigueng was still expressionless as usual. It was as if nothing and no one could make him waver. Du An Ling Tan cocked an eyebrow. What a surprise that I get to meet an acquaintance among the group from the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect. He was only briefly surprised by this. After all, Feng Wu Jigwen was from the Soaring Dragon Celestial Kingdom that was under the rule of the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect. It was not a surprise for Feng Wu Jigwen to come with the people from the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect. I heard that the Violet Sun Golden Celestials below the age of 100 weren't equally divided among the three major Celestial Sects of the Wasteland. Most of the Violet Sun Golden Celestials joined the sect that their Celestial Kingdoms belong to. It seems like it's true. Du An Ling Tan thought to himself, Sect Leader Chai. Bai Ping, the sect leader of the Tai Yi Celestial Sect, naturally, greeted Chai Kong Yu, the sect leader of the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect, when they drew closer to the group that arrived before them. Sect Leader Bai. Chai Kong Yu led the people from the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect over to the people from the Tai Yi Celestial Sect when he heard Bai Ping greeting him. The two groups finally met. They stood close together, but there was a distinct space between them. There were so many people in the sky, that it seemed like they were blocking the sunlight. Sect leader Chai, the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect arrived quite early. 
Bei Ping looked at Chai Kong Yu and smiled. We've just arrived actually. Chai Kong Yu said. As his voice trailed off, he looked at Tai Tai He who was standing next to Bei Ping. He said with a slight smile on his face, Elder Tai, I heard that after becoming a seven star celestial duke, you also became the second supreme elder of the Tai Yi celestial sect. Congratulations. Thank you, sect leader Chai. Tai Tai He quickly thanked Chai Kong Yu. As Chai Kong Yu Chai turned to look at Du An Ling Tan, his eyes inadvertently fell on Huana who was standing next to Du An Ling Tan. His eyes brightened for a moment when he saw her. Then, he moved his gaze to Du An Ling Tan and said, If I'm not mistaken, this young man should be Master Du An, right? This young man should be Master. Chapter 2802 Lab rats. Although it was the first time Chai Kong Yu had met Du An Ling Tan, he immediately recognized him due to how distinct he looked. Moreover, he had long heard about the peerless beauty next to Du An Ling Tan's side. Truly, after seeing Huana, he agreed that she was an unparalleled beauty. Even Teng King, an elder of the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect, was killed by the Tai Yi Celestial Sect due to this woman. Since the Tai Yi Celestial Sect had a justified reason for killing Ten King, the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect had no way to pursue the matter. Bei Ping, the sect leader of the Tai Yi Celestial Sect, promptly introduced Chai Kong Yu to Ju An Ling Tan. Master Ju An, this is sect leader Chai of the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect. Sect leader Chai. Du An Ling Tan nodded to Chai Kong Yu in greeting. I heard that not only are you a prominent celestial alchemist, but you're also a great overarching golden celestial younger than 100 years old. Will you be entering the little world with the rest of the young powerhouses as well? Chai Kong Yu asked as he casually glanced at the group of people standing behind Bei Ai Ping. The young powerhouses is from the Tai Yi Celestial Sect who would be entering the little world were Violet Sun Golden Celestials and two great overarching Golden Celestials. All of them were under the age of 100. Du An Ling Tan replied with a smile, since I'm here, I'll, naturally, join the fun. At this moment, the people from the Thousand Spiders Celestial Sect have arrived. Many observant people from the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect and Tai Yi Celestial Sect stared into the distance. Soon enough, another group of people appeared. Most of the people in this group were women. Even the people in the lead were women. Du An Ling Tan knew one of the women. She was Liu Yan Jun, the Supreme Elder of the Thousand Spider Sect. He had met her once in the Tai Yi Celestial Sect's estate along with Zhu Xiuqu before the start of the Wasteland Grand Contest. The other woman standing next to Liu Yan Jun looked very young. Although she was not as beautiful as Zhu Xiuqu, she could also be considered a rare beauty. She wore a green dress. The loose green dress fluttered in the wind, making her look like a dancing fairy. At the same time, Du An Ling Tan saw Zhu Xiuqu. She was standing next to the green-clad woman, talking and laughing as though they were sisters. He speculated inwardly, she, could she be the current sect leader of the Thousand Spiders Celestial Sect, Jian Kuluo? After the arrival of the people from the Thousand Spiders Celestial Sect, the green-clad woman greeted the Bei Ping and Chai Kong Yi like equals. Based on this, Du An Ling Tan knew he had guessed correctly. The green-clad lady was none other than Jian Kuluo, a seven stars celestial duke and the sect leader of the Thousand Spiders Celestial Sect. Zhu Xiuqu whispered into Jian Kuluo's ear before she greeted Du An Ling Tan with a faint smile. Master Du An. After Bei Ping's introduction, Du An Ling Tan smiled and greeted Jian Kuluo as well. For a moment, Jian Kuluo's gaze shifted to Huana who was beside Du An Ling Tan. She said with a slight smile on her face. I have long heard that there's a peerless beauty by Master Duan's side. I didn't believe it until I saw you today. It's true that she's a peerless beauty. Upon hearing Jian Kuluo's praise, Huan replied, You're also very beautiful. Duan Ling Tan was slightly surprised by Huan's manners. Thank you for the compliment. However, I'm not as beautiful compared to you. Everyone loved to be praised. When Jian Kuluo heard Huan's words, her beautiful eyes turned crescent-shaped as a smile blossomed on her face. Finally, the people from the three major celestial sects of the Wasteland had arrived. Sect Leader Bei Ai, Sect Leader Jian. Since everyone is here, should we send our people into the little world now? 
Shai Kong Yu asked as he looked at Bei Ping and Jian Kuluo. Yes, Bei Ping and Jian Kuluo replied and nodded in unison. For a moment, the people from the three major celestial sects of the wasteland who were preparing to enter the little world, except for Ju An Ling Ten and Huana, stood together under the lead of the three sect leaders of the three major celestial sects of the wasteland. The violet sun golden celestials and great overarching golden celestials were separated into different groups. There were six great overarching golden celestials who were all men, and there were fifty-two violet sun golden celestials of which three were women. Du An Ling Tan was not surprised by this. Although men and women were equal in his eyes, women's innate talent in regard to cultivation was slightly worse compared to men. Naturally, that was just a general and sweeping statement. In certain areas, some women's talents were not only equal to men but were even superior to men. Shai Kong Yu began to speak, first, hand over your spatial rings to the elders of your sects. The elders of your sects will give you a new and empty spatial ring. As Shai Kong Yu spoke, an elder from each of the three major celestial sects went to collect the spatial rings from the 58 young powerhouses and handed them another ring. The reason for this was so it would be easier for the sects to divide their harvest in the little world left by a celestial king. The 58 young powerhouses were already prepared for this so there was no resistance. Even if they wanted to resist, it would be futile. In this dog-eat-dog -dog world. They had no choice but to accept it for now faced with the strength of the three major celestial sects of the wasteland. Although they were highly talented, they had yet to mature in strength. Shai Kong Yu glanced at the 58 young powerhouses under the age of 100 and said loudly, inside the little world, apart from various treasures, there would be chance inheritances. These are different from the treasures that can change ownership. Whoever obtains the chance inheritances would be able to keep the treasure they find. As for the other treasures, the sects will reward you according to your harvest. Du An Ling Tan's eyes narrowed imperceptibly as he thought to himself, I wonder if sect leader Bei I will ask for my spatial ring and give me a new spatial ring. However, he was not worried even if Bei Ping really took away his spatial ring. This was because he had Huana with him. Huana had a spatial ring, and she would be using the invisibility talisman so that the people of the three major celestial sects would not know about her entry to the little world. In the end, he decided to give up his spatial ring and took the empty spatial ring from the Taiyi celestial sect. He would keep the treasure he wanted in Huana's spatial ring. As for the empty spatial ring, it would remain empty if he so wished. Meanwhile, Shai Kong Yu continued to say, Additionally, after a discussion with sect leader Bei and sect leader Jian, we decided to select nine violet sun golden celestials to first enter the little world to serve as scouts. If the nine selected violet golden sun celestials die in there, there would be no need for the rest of the violet sun golden celestials to enter. At that time, the six great overarching golden celestials will enter the little world instead. As soon as Chai Kong Yu finished speaking, the expressions of the 52 violet sun golden celestials changed drastically. They were aware of the first part of Chai Kong Yu's words so they were not surprised. However, they were completely unaware of the second part. They had thought they would be entering in groups since there was strength in numbers. Even if they were killed, they would just have to accept that it was their fate. However, now, they learned that nine people among them were going to be chosen to test the water. Did this not mean the nine chosen people were just lab rats? For a moment, every one of them lowered their heads, unwilling to meet Chai Kong Yu's gaze lest they were chosen to be the lab rats to enter the little world. No one was foolish enough to volunteer themselves to enter first. Chai Kong Yu was not bothered when he saw the violet sun golden celestials lowering their heads. He continued to say, We've already selected the nine violet sun golden celestials to enter the little world as scouts. Each of the sects would send three violet sun golden celestials. The chosen three from the sects will be the three strongest participants during the recent Wasteland Grand Contest. It's up to nine of you now to pave the way for the others. Shai Kong Yu continued to say, If you come out alive, you'll be handsomely rewarded. However, if you die in there, we'll compensate your families. If you're without families, 
we'll compensate your distant relatives or even friends. The 43 out of 52 Violet Sun Golden Celestials were relieved when they heard Chai Kong Yu's words. On the contrary, the expressions of the nine Violet Sun Golden Celestials changed drastically. Soon enough, someone stepped forward and said to Chai Kong Yu, Sect leader, I want to quit. This person was none other than someone Du An Ling Tan was acquainted with. Feng Wu Jigwang? Du An Ling Tan had fought with Feng Wu Jigwang in the Imperial Palace of the Soaring Dragon Celestial Kingdom. He did not expect Feng Wu Jigwang to be among the nine strongest violet sun golden celestials younger than 100 years old. When Feng Wu Jigwang stepped forward and said he wanted to quit, the other eight were eager to follow suit. However, before any of them could speak up, Chai Kong Yu scoffed with a displeased expression on his face. Yu scoffed with a displeased Chapter 2803, Enter the Little World. Chai Kong Yu scoffed coldly before he said, You can quit if you want. Upon hearing Chai Kong Yu's words, the eyes of Feng Wu Jigwen and the other eight violet sun golden celestials lit up, thinking that Chai Kong Yu would allow them to quit. Any of you who can survive a single strike from me can quit. Chai Kong Yu finished his sentence. Feng Wu Jigwei and the other eight violet sun golden celestials felt their moods plunged from heaven to hell. Their eyes dimmed, and their expressions changed drastically when they heard the latter half of Chai Kong Yu's words. With this, they knew Chai Kong Yu had no intention of letting them quit. What a joke. They could not even survive a strike from a one basic celestial duke, let alone Chai Kong Yu who was a seven star celestial duke. Meanwhile, the young powerhouse who was ranked 10th among the Violet Sun Golden Celestials during the Wasteland Grand Contest a month ago sighed in relief and rejoiced inwardly. Fortunately, fortunately, I ranked 10th. Otherwise, I would have been chosen to enter the little world as well. If they survive after going in, the rest of us should have a good chance of surviving after going in as well. If something happens to them, we don't have to go in and put our lives on the line. Similarly, the remaining Violet Sun Golden Celestials felt fortunate as well. Apart from the high-ranking officials from the three major celestial sects of the Wasteland, Duan Ling Tan, Huana, and the six great overarching Golden Celestials younger than 100 years old were the only ones unaffected by this. The six great overarching Golden Celestials younger than 100 years old were extremely confident about their strength. All of them thought the little world was created for people like them, and they would be fine after entering it. It was only natural since, in terms of strength, they were in the top among people younger than 100 years old in the wasteland. Shai Kongya looked at Feng Wu Jigwei and the others as he continued to say, Now. Please leave your soul pearls and relax your bodies. I will send you to the entrance of the little world. There will be spatial fluctuations during that time. No matter what, don't resist it. Let the power draw you into the little world. Helpless, Feng Wu Jigwei and others handed over their soul pearls after Chai Kong Yu finished speaking. Whoosh! Chai Kong Yu suddenly raised his hand, and a strong gust of wind blew and picked up the nine people bringing them toward the void 1000 meters away. When he withdrew his power, the nine people hovered in the void. This isn't good. Is this the power that will draw us into the little world? When Feng Wu Jigwen and the others stopped moving, they felt the void trembling before a turbulent and unstoppable force swept toward them like a torrential flood. At this moment, they could feel how insignificant they were. Meanwhile, Du An Ling Tan and the others watched from a distance. A circle of ripples appeared in the void as soon as the nine people stopped moving. The ripples continued to spread before it finally made contact with the nine people. Like an invisible behemoth, it seemed to swallow Feng Wu Jigwei and the others. In just a blink of an eye, the turbulent and distorted void calmed down as though nothing had happened. The nine people had also vanished into thin air. After a while, the remaining Violet Sun Golden Celestials younger than 100 years old finally regained their senses. Their hearts were racing in their chests as they whispered among themselves. They were worried and excited at the same time. They were frightened by the dangers lurking in the little world but also excited at the prospect of obtaining treasures in there. Did they go in? Have they entered? I wonder if they'll survive. If they don't, then, we don't have to enter the little world. If they do. It means it should be fine for us to enter and look for treasures and fortuitous encounters in there. Soon enough, 
everyone shifted their attention away from the void in the distance to the nine soul pearls hovering in the air. Their positions were irregular, but they corresponded with the positions of each of the nine violet sun golden celestials. Since Du An Ling Tan On Lin Yu Feng Wu Jigwang among the nine who were sent into the little world, his attention was, naturally, focused on Feng Wu Jigwang's soul pearl. That's Feng Wu Jigwang's soul pearl. At this moment, Chai Kong Yu's voice rang in the air again. We'll wait for a month. If they're still alive after a month, everyone can go in at that time. If one of them dies at that time, we will wait another month. After that, if less than half die, the rest will all go in. If more than half of them die, the rest are free to decide if they want to go in. If everyone dies, then, there's no need for the remaining violet sun golden celestials to go in. The expressions of the violet sun golden celestials below the age of 100 turned solemn when they heard Chai Kong Yu's words. Their eyes were trained on the nine soul pearls hovering in the air, closely monitoring the lives of the nine people who were sent into the little world. On the other hand, the six great overarching golden celestials who were below the age of 100 had already sat down with their legs crossed and eyes closed. They did not seem worried that someone would disturb them and cause chi deviation. After all, the sect leaders and elders of the three major celestial sects were present. Who would dare to come forward and disturb them? While everyone's attention was focused on the nine soul pearls, Du An Ling Tan sent a voice transmission to Huana. Huana, regardless of nine people's survival, I'll be entering the little world after a month. When that time comes, Use the invisibility talisman and entered the little world with me. All right, Brother Ling Tan, Huan responded through voice transmission. There's no need for you to leave before that. Everyone's attention will be on the entrance of the little world. Even if they discover you're missing later, it doesn't matter. They'd probably think you've returned to the Taiyi Celestial Sect Estate or gone to some other place while I'm in the little world. Du An Ling Tan continued to say through voice transmission. After giving his instructions to Huana, he sat down cross-legged and closed his eyes before he began to cultivate. Although the cultivation environment here was average, and he could not use Huana Divine Crystal, Du An Ling Tan did not slack off and devoted himself to cultivating. It's only been a few days since I've broken through and become an earth rank great overarching golden celestial so my foundation is still unstable. I will take advantage of the next month to stabilize my cultivation base. This was Du An Ling Tan's goal for his cultivation this time. He had successfully broken through before this and become an earth rank great overarching golden celestial due to the superior cultivation environment and other factors. Similarly, Huana sat down and began to cultivate as well. The high-ranking officials of the three major celestial sects of the wasteland sat cross-legged and closed their eyes as well. Some of them were re-energizing their spirits and some of them were cultivating. On the other hand, the group of distraught violet sun golden celestials only calmed down after a few days had passed. Only then did they begin to rest and cultivate. As time passed, more and more people did the same. Dot. Time passed, and in just a blink of an eye, a month had passed. Du An Ling Tan finally opened his eyes for the first time since a month ago. He noticed the nine people's soul pearls were intact. This meant that none of them died in the little world. They all survived. The high-ranking officials of the three major celestials of the wasteland also opened their eyes one after another. They were all smiles when they saw the nine intact soul pearls. They're all alive? The high-ranking officials of the three major celestial sects of the wasteland were, naturally, happy with this discovery. After all, this meant their chances of obtaining the treasures in the little world had risen. At this time, Du An Ling Tan said to Huana softly, Huana, prepare to use your invisibility talisman and follow me there. As soon as he finished speaking, he swiftly moved in the air to the space 1000 meters away where Feng Wu Jigwen and the others had disappeared into a month back. Master Duan, it's the chief celestial alchemist who's younger than 100 years old from the Taiyi celestial sect. Duan Ling Tan's actions immediately attracted the attention of the high-ranking officials of the three major celestial sects of the wasteland. The three
Chapter 2804, The Royal Grade Celestial Weapon Reappears While everyone's attention was on Duan Lingtan who was entering the little world, Huana used the invisibility talisman given by the young man with the surname Pei and silently disappeared into thin air. It was as though she was never there in the first place. The talisman hid her aura from everyone present, allowing her to follow Juan Lingtan with no one the wiser. As expected, no one noticed her disappearance. When Juan Lingtan stood at the entrance of the little world, he moved his right hand slightly as he said to the invisible Juana, Hold on to my hand. After a brief moment, he felt something soft holding onto his hand. Sect leaders, I'll be heading in first. After bidding farewell to the sect leaders of the three major celestial sects of the wasteland, Duan Ling Ten and Huana moved and entered the little world. As soon as they drew close to the entrance, the originally calm void began to distort again. A vast and unparalleled spatial force overwhelmed Duan Ling Ten and Huana before they both disappeared into thin air. Master Duan has entered the little world. Bei Ping, Tai Tai He, and the people from the Tai Yi Celestial Sect watched as Duan Ling Ten disappeared into the little world. They were confident he would be fine in there. After all, even the nine violet sun golden celestials survived after entering the little world for a month, let alone someone like Duan Lingtan who was a great overarching golden celestial. The people from the thousand spiders celestial sect and the martial dragon celestial sect began to discuss among themselves. The nine violet sun golden celestials are safe after entering the little world for a month. This proves that anyone stronger than them would be safe as well. As long as one's able to survive in there, one would be able to obtain treasures and chance inheritances. At this moment, Shai Kong Yu's voice rang in the air. As I've said a month ago, the remaining violet sun golden celestials will enter the little world since all nine people who have been sent in are alive. Upon hearing this, the remaining violet sun golden celestials whispered furtively among themselves. Currently, all of them lamented the fact that they could not go in earlier. They seemed to have forgotten how unwilling all of them were when Chai Kong Yu spoke about selecting nine people to enter the little world previously. I didn't expect all of them to survive. Now I wish I could have gone in first. Since the nine of them went in earlier, they have the advantage of obtaining more treasures. If only I ranked in the top nine among the violet sun golden celestials in the wasteland grand contest a month ago. Then, I could have gone in earlier. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Suddenly, the violet sun golden celestials heard the sound of wind whistling in the air. They saw the six great overarching golden celestials who were below the age of 100 making a move to enter the little world. In just an instant, the six people were drawn into the little world by the invisible force and disappeared into thin air. This sight spurred the violet sun golden celestials on. Let's go. We should go in too. After a while, only the high ranking officials from the three major celestial sects of the wasteland remained. They did not leave even after all the young powerhouses had gone into the little world. Some of them stood around and some of them cultivated and restored their spirits. They all went in. At this moment, the people from the Tai Yi Celestial Sect discovered something. Huh? Where is Huana, the girl next to Master Duan? Huana? The high-ranking officials of the Tai Yi Celestial Sect began to look around. They even extended their divine consciousness, but they found no traces of the person they were looking for. Upon discovering Huana's disappearance, Bei Ping, the sect leader of Tai Yi Celestial Sect, was slightly anxious. He was not worried about her safety. He was more worried that Duan Lingtan would be angry if something happened to Huana. Who knew if Duan Lingtan would leave the sect in a fit of anger? It would be a great loss to the sect if that happened. Sect leader Chai, sect leader Jian. Did anyone from your sect notice when Ms. Huana left? The two sect leaders asked around, but no one knew where Huana had gone. Then, Bei Ping turned to two elders from the Tai Yi Celestial Sect who had followed him here and said, Elder Xiao. Elder Chi, return to the sect to check if Miss Huana is in the sect. Report to me as soon as possible. Yes, sect leader. The two elders of the Tai Yi Celestial Sect quickly left after receiving their orders. Dot. Meanwhile, 
Yuan Lingtan was unaware that the people outside had discovered Huana's absence or how Bei Ping was so anxious that he even sent two elders back to the Taiyi Celestial Sect to see if Huana was there. So this is the little world? This was not the first time Duan Lingtan had entered a little world left by a celestial king when he had just arrived in the spirit overarching heaven. He and Murong Bing from the compassionate celestial traveler sect had entered a little world left by a celestial king. That was the beginning of their tragic love story, regardless if it was his first time or not, it did not dampen his excitement. This place was a little world left by a celestial king after all. Duan Lingtan glanced at his side and called out, Huana. If it were not for the soft and slender hand in his right hand, he would not know that someone was standing next to him. Whoosh. The sound of wind whistled in the air as a vague but charming figure appeared next to Duan Lingtan. After a moment, Huana finally appeared. Her entire body was leaning against Duan Lingtan, and she still held on to his hand. She blinked her beautiful autumn eyes and looked around curiously. An expression of excitement could be seen on her face as she asked, Brother Lingtan, is this the little world that's left behind by a celestial king? Yes. Duan Lingtan nodded and looked around. He discovered both of them were above a vast lake at this moment. Clouds were gathered below their feet so it took him a while to realize they were standing above a lake. The mystical Yang Nine water chestnut ring. Duan Lingtan raised his hand, revealing a ring. The ring was very unique. There were nine irregularly shaped water chestnuts on the ring making it look quite strange. The ring seemed to be forged by a special red material. This ring, a royal grade celestial weapon, was given to him by the young man with the surname Pei. A royal grade celestial weapon was a level higher than a king grade celestial weapon. One had to know, even in the entire wasteland, there was only one king grade celestial weapon which was in the possession of the Taiyi Celestial Sect. One of the main reasons the three major celestial sects of the Wasteland had tried their best to gather so many young powerhouses under the age of 100 to enter the Little World was to get their hands on King-grade celestial weapons. Based on this, one could see how precious and rare King-grade celestial weapons were let alone royal grade celestial weapons. If the high ranking officials of the three major celestial sects of the wasteland were aware that Duan Lingtan had the royal grade celestial weapon, the mystical Yang Nine water chestnut ring, they would definitely kill him at all cost just to obtain the ring. Even Bei Ping, the sect leader of the Taiyi celestial sect, who was always courteous to Duan Lingtan would not be able to resist the temptation of a royal grade celestial weapon he would not hesitate to attack Duan Lingtan for such a treasure. After all, how could Duan Lingtan compare to a royal grade celestial weapon? There's no response. Duan Lingtan put away the royal grade celestial weapon, the mystical Yang Nine water chestnut ring, again. He had taken it out to see if it had any reaction. The mysterious young man with the surname Pei had told him that the mystical Yang Nine water chestnut ring would respond if the mystical Yin Nine water chestnut ring was nearby. The mystical Yin Nine water chestnut ring was the royal grade celestial weapon that the mysterious young man with the surname Pei had tasked Duan Lingtan to find in the little world. Chapter 2805 the Shattered Soul Pearls. Brother Ling Tan, where should we go now? Huan asked as she blinked her beautiful eyes. She looked even more curious compared to before. We can go wherever you want. Although Brother Pei said that danger lurks everywhere in here, and it's hard to stay alive here, that only applies to those who are weaker than overarching heavenly supreme celestials. There's no need for us to worry, Duan Ling Tan said with a glint in his eyes. However, it did not take long before a sigh escaped from Duan Lingtan's lips. Initially, he had been relieved when the three major celestial sects of the wasteland decided to send nine people into the little world first to serve as scouts. With this, at least, the remaining violet sun golden celestials could be saved. However, he did not expect the nine people who were first sent in would survive after a month. With this, he knew the young violet sun golden celestials would not be able to escape their impending deaths. Naturally, he wanted to tell the sect leaders of the three major celestial sects of the wasteland about how deadly the little world was, not even a great overarching golden celestial would be able to survive there. However, 
he knew no one would believe him, on the contrary, they would think he was exaggerating so he could claim more treasures for himself. He could reveal to everyone the reason he would be safe in the little world was due to Juana's protection since she was an overarching heaven supreme celestial under the age of 100. Even there, there was still a chance that they might not believe him. Moreover, that would put Juana in danger. For all these reasons, he simply said nothing and watched as the event unfolds. There was nothing else he could. The only thing Duan Ling Tang could do now was to survive with Huana and help the mysterious young man with the surname Pei find the royal grade celestial weapon, the mystical Yin Nine water chestnut ring, and see if he would be lucky enough to encounter treasures and chance inheritances along the way. Finally, Duan Ling Tang looked at Huana and asked, Huana, which way do you think we should go? Brother Ling Tan, I don't know. Huana shook her head. It's fine. Pick whichever direction you like, Duan Ling Tan said with a smile. Then, let's go this way. Huana pointed straight ahead. All right, we'll go this way then. Duan Ling Tan nodded and began to move in the direction that Huana had chosen. They moved in the air, causing a disturbance in the clouds. After about 15 minutes, Juana suddenly came to a halt as though she had sensed something. What's wrong, Juana? Duan Ling Tan stopped moving as well and looked at Juana in confusion. However, before she responded, he lifted his head and stared ahead. He could sense something was amiss. In just an instant, boom, 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 a thunderous noise rang in the distance. Duan Ling Tan saw a flock of birds take flight under the cover of the clouds. The strange thing was each bird was the size of a hill. With hundreds of them, it seemed as though they had covered the entire sky. What celestial beast is this? The birds resembled eagles and had blood red eyes. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Their wings sliced through the air like blades as Saba rays shot toward Duan Ling Tan and Huana. Their sharp and gleaming claws seemed capable of tearing through anything. Duan Ling Tan quickly investigated with his divine consciousness. These birds, even the weakest among them has the cultivation base of a yellow sun golden celestial. The strongest ones are comparable to blue sun golden celestials. One would have to be a violet sun golden celestial, at least, to deal with them head on. Swoosh. Before Duan Ling Tan could even take action. A chilling aura surged out of Huana's body at lightning speed. It felt as though the entire world had frozen over at this moment. When he regained his senses, the deadly birds were all frozen dead by her aura. Due to the momentum, the birds' corpses continued to move in the air. They only began to drop into the lake with plopping noises when they were less than 100 meters away from Juan Ling Tan and Huana. All the birds were killed in just a blink of an eye by Huana even though she did not move a muscle at all from the beginning until the end. Huana, next time when we encounter something, don't make a move unless I'm unable to deal with it. I haven't been able to test out my strength after my recent breakthrough. Duan Ling Tan said with a smile, I, I just don't brother Ling Tan to be tired, Huana said timidly with a pout. When she saw Duan Ling Tan's expression, she thought he was displeased. Huana, you've misunderstood me, I'm not blaming you. When Duan Ling Tan saw tears brimming in her eyes, he, naturally, knew she thought he was blaming her. He hurriedly explained again, I just want to test my strength. I'm not blaming you for protecting us. Really? Huana asked as she stared at Duan Ling Tan with shining eyes. Of course. Duan Ling Tan nodded hurriedly. Bang. At this moment, another thunderous noise reverberated in the air. It seemed to have come from the lake below them. Bang, 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 bang. A series of thunderous noises followed soon after. Duan Ling Tan could easily sense a powerful aura from below. It was no weaker than the birds that Huana had killed. Roar. The mist and clouds below Duan Ling Tan and Huana's feet swirled before they finally dispersed, revealing many figures with the size of a mountain. These celestial beasts, every one of them has the strength of an indigo sun golden celestial. Duan Ling Tan thought to himself as he studied the thirteen rising beasts. Even ordinary violet sun golden celestials wouldn't choose to face them head on. As for those who are weaker, they'll undoubtedly die if they encounter these beasts. Who knew we would meet such powerful celestial beasts as soon as we enter the little world? At this moment, 
The gigantic beasts below them with red eyes finally made a move. Whoosh. The wind stirred as Du An linked and vanished from his spot. Whoosh. 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 A series of sword cries rang in the air. Blood spluttered everywhere. In just an instant, the thirteen celestial beasts that resembled killer whales were riddled with wounds. Whoosh. In half a breath's time, Du An Ling Tan reappeared at where he stood earlier. The thirteen gigantic beasts roared and howled before they took their last breaths and fell back into the lake. The sound of these beasts falling into the lake was much louder compared to the birds. After killing the beasts, Du An Ling Tan called out, Huana, let's continue on our way. It would have been easy for Du An Ling Tan to kill these celestial beasts before he became a great overarching golden celestial let alone now that he had become an earth rank great overarching golden celestial. Therefore, he did not think much of killing the celestial beasts. Dot. Meanwhile, the high-ranking officials from the three major celestial sects of the wasteland were still outside the entrance of the little world. Crack, crack, crack. At this moment, all of their eyes were widened, and there was a drastic change in their expressions. It was due to the three crisp cracking sounds that had just sounded. They watched as three of the nine soul pearls, which belonged to the nine violet sun golden celestials who were first sent in, shattered. That the soul pearls belonged to the three violet sun golden celestials below the age of 100 who had joined the thousand spiders celestial sect after the wasteland grand contest. An elder from the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect cried out from the Martial Dragon Celestial.